Well, a uh, pound and a half just come off the printer and uh, I have pretty much found the right air gap for my uh, my raft, which it's, my raft is a necessity with my end product of this part. So when you find the right air gap, you can pretty much, of course, being careful not to cut yourself, as I've seen it happen, but with the right air gap, you can pretty much do that. And uh, that leaves the surface that I need uh, for better adhesion in between the material that I glue these to. So, yeah, uh, rafts, rafts are important. Not everybody uses them. Not everybody believes in them. But uh, not everybody needs them for what they're printing, but for, like I said, for what I print and uh, and all. The raft is a necessity to help with the adhesion, uh, to help the glue sink in uh, the bottom of this part so that it helps glue it to the other material that I glue them to. And boom, there we go. Rafts are completely different from printer to printer, from part to part, from uh, everything because I guess your bed leveling, uh, your gap in between, your Z-stop gap in between, uh, your extruder and your bed, I guess all that would make a difference on what gap that you set it at. So I can't really say tell you my air gap because then it probably won't work on yours because all that's different your gap your z gap in between your extruder and your bed might be different than mine uh, so yeah but in general for my printers my robo r1s and the new Ray's 3d pro 2 i've pretty much found the right air gap to where they come off nice and pretty like that that looks beautiful. So, there you go. Let's talk about rafts.